that's what being in the trenches isn't like. And that's why I sometimes stand firm in my professionalism when it comes to students and in my opinion, because I have spent very, very many hours in that place. And many, many times I surprised myself with what I came to and what I learned. But what I did learn is a way to um, support a child, guide a child, encourage a child without going into being fake or inauthentic because I don't, I think that does do a disservice to children. And it's also why I stand in my authority on some of these subjects because I, even though I'm not a mother, my knowledge on children is different because you're an expert on these very specific children and you're also in an, a situation where being objective is going to be hard because the love of a, a mother, and I'm speaking specifically to mothers, but I don't mean to exclude fathers out of this, but I just want to speak specifically to mothers because this is more about, I know more about women, to be honest with you. The love that a mother has for her child can be blinding at times. And it can make, you know, it difficult to walk this very line of how to encourage a child, but also to give honest feedback. Because honest feedback is loving. It doesn't have to come from a shaming critical place. That's not what I'm talking about. And in many of in many of those cases, that's why the education system is maybe yo-yoed back because it doesn't want to do these shaming techniques. It doesn't want to make children feel less than, right? And we've all come from that. We've all experienced those type of tactics, old school tactics to motivate us, shaming us, criticizing us. And many of us came from parenting situations with the same thing, right? But there's also another extreme that's happening a lot in America. And that extreme is not being loving to your child by only being encouraging by, you know, that's like the fun, safe, positive soccer, like not really having a grounded approach to teaching that child um, in a way that's authentic. Because, you know, if you shelter your child with too much love and don't give them honest feedback, if you hear your child play a piece of music and it doesn't sound good and they haven't been working on it, but you encourage them anyways, then they're not going to have a realistic understanding of what it takes to make it in the world, of what hard work means, of what true character ethics mean, right? It's just for show at that point. It's, it's surface deep. That encouragement won't really instill a deep sense of self-esteem in that child because it's not based in authenticity, and the child knows it. Children know way more than adults what's real and what's not real. 